Hey and welcome to the video today. Today is part five of the five pillars of hockey development. And these are the things that you should be working on every practice throughout the year with your plan. You should have a good plan based on your games and the feedback that you're getting from the players and your results on what you're going to work on. And these five things should be the things that it should come down to every time you evaluate what you're doing. So today is skating and let's get into it right now with all the things that you should be working on. Just like we did in the last McDavid video that we showed, we, we work on edges and we want to go probably six to ten minutes at practice so the kids don't get bored. And you can see these are AAA players and they're stick handling and they're working on inside edges. Then they're going to be going to outside edges. They'll be doing slalom, which is two feet back and forth, and heel to heel. Uh, right now they're, they're going to outside edges where they step over. And there's a progression that I'll show you at the end. Obviously, you would start this skill. You want them to do it really well without pucks. Then you can add stick handling. And then eventually, you can add passing too. So they're passing with a partner while they're doing these skills. So there's a quite a few things. The other thing that we'll be talking about is what do you do in different... Like this is a full ice drill. What do you do when you only have half ice? There's ways to do it. And there's other ways to do it full ice as well. So here they are with slalom two foot want to get power in those edges as you go you can see we've got one line that's shooting on the goalie on the one end and the other line comes back and shoots on the other end and this is just one way to set it up here's another way is with circles so we're working on crossovers they're going half a circle taking a shot and then going to the other circle and doing a full circle really working on crossovers now this is good for when you have half ice practices is one of the sequences you can use uh, and you really want them to work on good hard crossovers another one now we're going to go around the gloves or pylons we're doing tight turns and it's the same sequence except we're doing tight turns and then we go to the other circle and we do a full circle on the other side so it's half and then full Here's some coaches, and you can see they're going through some of the sequences with coaches to make sure they feel and know what it feels like. And this is another setup. So if you have a full ice practice or a half ice practice, you can set them up at center. They go down the red line, and they come back on the blue line. They can pick up a puck at the blue line and go and take a shot on the goalie. Or if they're at, that, at the proper level, they could be stick handling with those pucks and go in and take a shot. And here's just what the minor hockey kids were doing. We got tight turn, tight turn. So it's half circle, full, full circle. And when you're on that second circle, you don't just have to do crossovers. You can see here we got them for, going forwards and backwards, doing pivots to the center, working on their edges. So there's different things that you can advance to. There's another one, transition skating. So they go up to the ringette line, backwards to the goal line, pivot to the outside, half circle, shot, and a full circle on the other side. It's just another half ice sequence. So the progressions for this are pretty simple. I mean, obviously you want to be getting, starting slow and getting faster. That's what she said. And of course, then you want to make it more complex and get harder each time. That's what she said. And these are the five progressions that we would use. First of all, with no puck, make it easy as possible. Second, we would start stick handling. Then we try backwards. Then we could advance to jumping from edge to edge and getting power. And then we could pass with partners as we go through this. Okay, so the first couple scenarios that I'm going to show you are full ice scenarios. So, if you have, you can, one of the setups can be you can have players on each side and they go and they're going to do their, just like the other progressions, without pucks, then with pucks, then hopping, then backwards, those, those kind of progressions. But... It'd be the same thing except they go in this direction. All the way across the red line. And then they come back. And they go on the blue line back. And then you can have a pile on here. And they have a bunch of pucks. And they can pick up a puck and come in and shoot on the goalie. So that's the first scenario. These guys would do the same. Come back this way. Pick up a puck. Shoot on the goalie. Okay, the second scenario for full ice that you can use is you get two lines in the corner, 
This is good for one team. You can have a pylon over here. And both these lines go at the same time and they might be doing inside edge, inside edge, back and forth, all the way down. And just like the other drills, progressions can change with pucks, without, whatever. It doesn't matter! All the way down. And the outside line, when they get here, is going to come in and take a shot on net. And they're going to come back on this side doing the same skill to the back of the line. The inside line is going to come, and when they get to this pylon, they're going to come down the center and they'll take a shot on net on this goalie. So you're getting two different shots, you're using the full ice, and that's your scenario too. And in half ice situations, actually a lot of people are really negative about half ice situations. You can do a lot of stuff in half ice. You can do everything that you can full ice in half ice. So if you're a minor hockey coach, don't worry about being half ice all the time. There's lots that you can do, okay? So in this situation, we're gonna do a, a half a circle and a full circle drill. And there's different progressions you can do with this too. But we're gonna start with all the players lined up in the corner. And two players at a time are gonna come. They're gonna go half ice with a puck, shoot a couple feet apart so the goalie's ready. And then they're gonna do crossovers and finish in this corner here. So they do half a circle, full circle. So that's the sequence, but there's a lot of progressions we can do from that. So the next time we might come and we might end up going in here. We'll put two pylons here like we did in the video. And you do a tight turn, tight turn, around the circle, take a shot, and a full circle. Okay, then you can do mohawk turns or, or heel to heel, heel to heel, heel to heel, around, take a shot, and end up in that corner. And of course, you can from that point, you can even get into, on this, you don't have to do crossovers here, you can do inside out or inside edge pivots until they come into that corner too. So there's lots you can do in this progression. And one of the last things you can do is if you're a half ice team and you only got half is you can do it just like the full ice one, except of course, you only got this side. So you can go down this red line and back and get some pucks here and go in for some shots. Um, that's the different options you can do. You can also set this up with different stations. So you could have someone working on some skills in this circle, and you could do this here, get a shot, line up, come back up. So there's different things, and there's no wrong way to do it. There's just options, and you wanna really be keeping in mind that you want the kids participating lots, you don't wanna be waiting in the line very long, and you don't wanna be talking to them too long. It should be quick, and it should be, there should be some feedback and you want to push them to make mistakes so that they're getting better. Thanks for watching the video today. That is part five of the five pillars of hockey. That's it for this one. We're going to be getting into some other things about training camps are coming up. What do scouts look for? Uh, what are the things you can do to, to work on your training as you get ready for camp? We'll do a couple things on diet. Um, so those things are upcoming. But this ends this section on the five pillars of, of hockey. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on your notifications so that you know when the next one's coming. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.